Julia. <sighs> hey, Allie. Allie spends the whole day on the bed. The whole day on the bed. It seems that way. I hope she does. But, you know. Yes, so it's um, 6.30. And uh, things have been pretty quiet today because... Um, Elisa, my uh, student that I tutor, um, she's had the flu or something all week. She's been sick all week, so she hasn't been at school. And we didn't uh, we didn't uh, meet for tutoring today, so that that was quiet. I just. Uh, I can hear Heidi um, in his uh, room, <laughs> his location. I just put, put him there uh, out of the, uh, the heat lamp. He sounds like he's getting comfortable. And um, my husband has just headed off to my daughter's place, my daughter's, uh, my parents' house, uh, because we had some stuff still sitting in the garage there. And they were just told, uh, we were told that they had found a renter and that that renter wants to move in fairly quickly. So the stuff in the garage uh, had to go rather suddenly. Leave that alone, please. Thank you. He's off uh, removing the stuff with my son-in-law now. And I'm home for the rest of the night and not going to the pool because Cambridge city workers have gone on strike. So city hall, arenas, and pools are closed. And all the cats, except for Floyd, are here with me. Ellie, Aggie, Julia. Okay, all the torties, all the tortoise shells are here. And my kittens, my kittens are here. We're gonna have a quiet night. I'm gonna start marking shortly, as soon as I finish my coffee. So that I can get a jump on things because if I leave it until tomorrow, that's only an hour here and an hour there. So I think that I will probably need to take more time. Julia's having fun on the stool. Julia is playing with her mouse, her favorite mouse, her prey mouse. She dug out of, oh no, it's a blue mouse. Okay, mine. Ah, oh, it's nice not to, I mean, I miss the pool and I know it's wonderful exercise. However, I really don't miss it. So I did a workout. I pumped, yes. And I was thinking I should do more of that anyway. Because I haven't felt Armstrong lately. So I'm, I do my biceps and my triceps. And uh, yeah, that'll be good. I should keep that up. I shouldn't let these things slide. But you know, time restraints. 
Laziness. Right. I reconsidered my last thing to hang. It's actually a Pegasus. It's a horse, a flying horse that I've had since in my early 20s, probably my late, late teens. That's when I got my job at the bookstore downtown. And uh, I saw it in a window across the street and then I bought it. And uh, it's been on various walls over that time period since then. But I hadn't found a place in here except for in the closet. I may have to go back there because I haven't yet found a place out. Now that's too busy. Putting it under my dad's clock is too busy. Too busy. And in here is oh, well, well taken care of. Oh no, I decided, yes. It's going to go up there on that patch of wall there. Right, I forgot. I did find a spot for it. We agreed. But I haven't had the time to uh, put it up there. Or my husband hasn't either, so. What about that? Here, let me go get it. I'll show you what it is, what it looks like. There you go. It's another mirror, of course. <laughs> a mirror and a Pegasus. My Pegasus. So that'll go right up there over the door, over the opening to the kitchen. Still in the living room, but not so obvious. And it's a rather dark place, which could use some brightening up with a mirror. I don't know, but it will, it will. Mirrors everywhere. No vampires in this house. No way, no way. Well, I'd know it. Mirror here, mirror there, mirror on that wall, mirror, two mirrors in the, in the uh, kitchen, two mirrors in the bathroom and laundry room, mirrors everywhere. All right. That's our neighbor coming home. And uh, yeah, I've got some marking to do. Ta for now, see you later.